Hi, I'm Tracy Berry with your headlines for April 9th. But first, a note from our sponsor, KUR Listener Supported Public Radio brings NPR's international and national reporting, local news, and cultural programming to Arkansas on FM 89.1. Support KUR's Spring Fund Drive through April 13th at donate.kuar.org. State Representative Clark Tucker announced today that he'd raised more than a half a million dollars in the first quarter of his race for the Democratic nomination to challenge U.S. Representative French Hill in Arkansas's 2nd Congressional District. Tucker ended the quarter with over 440000 cash on hand, according to the campaign. Tucker is running against activist and teacher Paul Spencer, activist and teacher Gwen Combs, and Jonathan Dunkley, a project manager at the Clinton School of Public Service. Dana Bonham has announced his Democratic candidacy for state representative, vying to unseat incumbent Republican Representative Mary Bentley for the District 73 seat, which includes parts of Pope, Perry, Yale, and Conway counties. Bonham, an investor who previously worked as a director of information technology with FedEx, lives in rural Perry County near the community of Thornburg. We need honest leaders who will stand up for working families and work across the party lines to get things done for our Kansans, he said in a press release. Little Rock attorney David Couch has a new amendment to legalize and tax marijuana for personal use topped up and ready to go, he told Arkansas Public Media. Couch has campaigned for more than 20 ballot initiatives and authored the medical marijuana amendment that voters passed in 2016. He said that as soon as he sees polling numbers that show approval above 58 percent in Arkansas, he'll push to get the question on the ballot at the next available presidential election. He said he's seen polling that puts support at 52 percent. The University of Arkansas's Arkansas poll put support at 47 percent last year. The Walton Family Foundation announced today that it is putting $300 million into readily available lower cost loans for charter schools, including in Arkansas to purchase or build school buildings. Just two years ago, $250 million of the Walton money was pumped into charter schools in 17 cities, including Little Rock, to give them access to capital for building or acquiring new facilities. That's it for your headlines today. I'm Tracy Berry, the sub for the sub. You could call me the C-team. But you can read more on the Arkansas blog. Check us out, www.arctimes.com.